All right, in this video, we're talking about The Bad Batch. This is episode five called The Return after this. Hello out there, I'm the oldest nerd. And uh, talking today about the Bad Batch, this is where we've already had in the last episode uh, the situation where Crosshair brings Omega back to Hunter and Wrecker. And in this episode, while Wrecker is perfectly willing to accept Crosshair back because he's part of the team, uh, there is some amount of distrust that Hunter has. And Crosshair is working with his own problems with his uh, shaky hand, uh, unable to hit better than 53% of his targets. That's not his usual. He's usually a crack shot, and this is something that concerns him quite a bit, it's something that has some impact on the remainder of the story. Um, but the more interesting thing that's going on here is the reconciliation between mainly uh, Hunter and Crosshair. Hunter claims that Crosshair is telling him things uh, and not telling him other things. And perhaps there is some reason that he's back. Is he a spy or did he betray the Empire like he betrayed them? Uh, not a good alternative, really, when you think about it. And Without going into the detail of where they go, they're just gathering information, and uh, there's a monster. Why is there always a monster, Grecker says. But the method by which they reconcile is believable. They are, they have more in common than they have against them. Uh, they've always been kind of argumentative with each other, even in the best of times, and they both have regrets of things that they've done, and it finally comes down to that. And Echo is back. Uh, he is um, there to kind of debrief Omega and Crosshair as to what they were learning at the uh, tennis station so uh, they can have some idea on uh, how to deal with rescuing the other clones. Omega is still worried about having left so many of the others behind. And Echo says, uh, you did all that anyone could have expected of you. And uh, with that, uh, we have kind of a letting Omega off the hook for just getting away, which really was the best thing that she could have done because her information is more valuable than have given her life just to try to help everybody else at this point. Uh, we find some uh, fairly useful things in Batcher, and uh, so that's shown in this episode as well. And at the end, as we knew that we were going to have kind of a reconciliation between Hunter and Crosshair, as they're uh, coming back to where the others are, Echo says they always work it out, and I don't even see any blood <laughs> this time. That's progress. So uh, that's the uh, Bad Batch for this week. We still haven't heard anything of tech. I suspect that uh, it goes by the old maxim of if you didn't see the character actually die, he's not dead. So uh, I expect a future episode, if not the next one, is going to deal with what happened to tech after his uh, fall and how he was able to survive and what it's going to take for him to get back to the others or if the others are going to find him. We'll find out about that as the show goes on. In the meantime, I'd like to know what you think. Please put it in the comments below. And of course, subscribe if you have not done so already. We have uh, more of the Bad Batch episodes coming your way. There's usually about uh, uh, 10 of them, 10 to 12. So uh, we'll be following all of those in the coming weeks as they are released by Disney Plus. And then tomorrow we'll have another episode of Babylon 5. And uh, we know fairly certain it'll be next month uh, will be um, Star Trek Discovery will be back. We'll be doing reviews on that. So lots of things to see and talk about uh, in the next um, couple of months. So we hope that you will be around for that. So until then, don't go far. <laughs>